Hey guys, Joseph here with NYC Production Sound. Today we're gonna to go over some quick tips to help you mix dialogue with music. Since the early days of cinema, editors have been making effective use of music to add emotional weight to a scene. Welcome to Jurassic Park. However, in its raw form, mixing music and dialogue is kinda of like trying to put together a puzzle where the pieces just don't fit. Take a look. Hello, dialogue. Meet your new best friend, music. Oh no, the two of you don't seem to be getting along. Let's try some compression before things get loud. There, that's better. But wait, let's see about getting those pieces to fit. Let's eat you. There we go, best of friends. Now go make a movie, you two. All right, now that we got a little bit more of a background, let's get to work. Hey guys, for today's tutorial, I'm using an excerpt from a project I directed a few years ago. This is an excerpt with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu master, Pedro Sauer. Since this was a small crew production, we opted to use a lav mic, which we hid under Pedro's gi. Before we get started, I highly recommend that you view this video on the highest video quality possible. Since we're dealing with audio, make sure you use the best set of headphones or speakers you have at your disposal, as we want to hear as clearly as possible what exactly is happening in the mix. Now, when it comes to mixing audio in Adobe Premiere, instead of working down here below, I prefer to work in what's called the Audio Track Mixer. For those of you that don't know where that is, scroll up to the top here, come down, click on Audio Track Mixer, and select your sequence. Okay, there we go. Now I did clean these tracks up just a little bit before we got started, just to give us a good starting point for us to do a mix. Now our first step is to get a general idea of what the balance of the tracks are. Let's listen. Okay, now for starters, the music's a little bit loud. So what we're gonna do is uh, you're gonna go up to your mixer window here and we're gonna pull this fader down. Which is a, is a, is a great art, is, a, is so incredibly intelligent the way how you approach the art, the way how to use the All art. right, that's sounding pretty good. Just play it back again. Oh. Great art is, a super, is so incredibly intelligent. Let me put the volume up on the vocal a little bit. The way how you approach the art, the way how to use the art for your social improvement. All right, that's sounding pretty good. Now that we got an overall basic balance between the two tracks, our next step is to add some EQ. Like you saw in the video prior, think of EQ as a tool where you're going to create some notches between your two tracks so they fit into each other just like puzzle pieces. All right, so in order to accomplish this, go up to the top here. These are your slots for your effects. Click on this little arrow and go down to Filter and EQ. For this task, we're going to select Parametric Equalizer. Now, for those of you working in other NLEs other than Adobe Premiere, there should be your own version of a parametric EQ. This is very important as parametric EQs give us the controls necessary to make the precise adjustments to our sound. Now, in order to edit the settings on your plugin, right click on it and go down to edit. All right, here we go. Now this line here represents the various modifications that we're gonna make to our audio signal. To get started, click here on the high pass filter. We're gonna filter out some of this low end energy here. I'm gonna punch in 100 Hertz. And the reason why we're filtering these lower frequencies out is because with most mobile devices and computers, which the majority of your videos are probably gonna be played on, uh, that low frequency energy really doesn't come through anyways. So we're gonna do that just to clean up some of that, that mess here. My next step is I'm gonna come here to the 3200 or 3.2K selection here. And I'm just gonna pull that down. This is creating that notch in the sound that we spoke of. I'm gonna pull it down to about minus 4.5 dB. And I'm going to widen the Q here. Okay, let's take a listen to see what we, our work sounds like so far. It's a great art. It's, a super, it's so incredibly intelligent. The way how you approach the art. The way how to use the art. All right, already that's sounding better. Our next step is I still want to get a little bit more of the body of the voice to come through. And for that, we're going to go to our 200 hertz frequency here. 
Uh, we're going to do the same thing as before, and we're going to pull that down. Now, this frequency is going to create a notch for the body of the voice. So let's see how that sounds. Art for your social improvement. All right, that's sounding pretty good. The next thing I want to do here is I'm still feeling a little bit distracted by the by the strings of that music. There's a little bit of a brightness. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top here, and I'm going to punch in 10,000 hertz or 10K. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to pull this back, and let's listen. It's, a super, it's so incredibly intelligent, the way how you approach the art, the way how to use the art. Sounding pretty good. I'm going to pull a little bit down here on the higher frequencies as well. Okay, that should pull some of that bright, even more of that brightness down. Let's take a listen. Great art is a super, is so incredibly intelligent, the way how you approach the art. All right, I'm liking how that's sounding. Now let's go over and work on our vocal track. Now what I'm going to do here, since the human voice is such a dynamic instrument, we're going to add some compression which you saw in the video earlier when the hands came in and squashed the puzzle piece down the size. So we're going to add that onto the human voice here. This is just going to create a little bit more of an overall volume balance. So it's just a little bit better in our mix here. Go over to your compressor, right click on it, click edit. All right, there we go. Now there are some presets available here that you can try and see what sounds good for you. But for this tutorial, I'm going to show you some basic settings that you can apply to your mixes here. All right, now our first thing we're going to look at here is we're going to go to the ratio control. Now this is, uh, this is the amount of compression that's going to happen. For dialogue, I recommend anywhere from a 3 to 1 to a 5 to 1 ratio. Now you don't want to go too strong on this because that can make your dialogue start to sound a little unnatural. So let's start with 3 to 1. Next, we're going to adjust the threshold control. Now, this is the point at which the compressor starts working. For this, I'm going to come down to about, I'd say, let's see here. Let's try minus 21. That should work pretty well. Let's take a listen. Great art is, a super, is so incredibly intelligent, the way how you approach the art. Okay, I'm liking that. That's sounding pretty good. Now, when you compress something, though, you do lose a little bit of volume. So we're going to click here on the output gain, and we're going to pull it up here about 3 dB. Let's take a listen. Art is, a super, is so incredibly intelligent, the way how you approach the art. I'm going to put a little bit more. Let's go f around 4. Okay. Great art is, a super, is so incredibly intelligent, the way how you approach the art the way how to use the art for your social improvement. All right, I'm liking that. That's sounding more balanced than before. Our next step is we're going to add some EQ now to our dialogue. So we're going to click here, go to a parametric equalizer, right click, go down to edit. All right, let's do the same thing as before. Add a high pass filter, put it in at the 100 frequency. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of presence to the voice. I'm going to go up to about, let's see, I'm going to go up to around 5K. Let's put 5,000 in. Now, for the presence of a human voice, there's going to be a lot of activity happening between 1.5K and the 5K range. Uh, we can, you can tweak this for a variety of different voices. Use your ears, tweak the taste. I'm going to boost this up to see how that sounds. Let me just scroll back here. Jiu Jitsu is a, is, a, is a great art, is, a super, is so incredibly intelligent, the way how you approach the art. All right, that's sounding pretty good. I'm gonna, I put roughly 1.9 decibel boost there. Now, when you're boosting on an EQ, you don't want to go too crazy here, as that can start to add uh, some noise and artifacts to the sound that are not so pleasing to the ears. That's sounding pretty good, though, right there. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of body back to the voice. I'm going to boost here at the 200 hertz frequency. Just going to take that up about, oop, take that up about one decibel here. How Let's you take a listen. Approach the art, the way how to use the art for your social improvement. Now, what I want to do next is I'm going to add a little bit of air to the voice. To accomplish this, we're going to go up to the top here and our shelf boost. I'm going to type in 15,000 hertz or 15K. All right, and let's boost that up about 3 dB. 
art Let's is, take a a super, is so incredibly intelligent. The way how you approach the art, the way how to use the art for your social improvement. All right, that's sounding pretty good there. I still think the voice needs to be a little bit louder. Let's go up here on our fader, push that up. This is a, is a, is a great art, is, a super, is so incredibly intelligent, the way how you approach the art. All right, guys, I think this mix is ready to go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the space down below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more great content on how to better mix audio for video. Till next time, I'm Joseph with NYC Production Sound. Keep it rolling.